Hi, in this video training we will be learning about NumPy splitting array. Splitting is reverse operation of joining. Joining merges multiple arrays into one and splitting breaks one array into multiple. We use array underscore split function for splitting arrays. We pass it the array we want to split and the number of splits. Let's look at the first example. We are going to split a single dimensional array into three parts. So first of all, let's create a project file. Let's go to the console and create python numpy array split.py. Okay, and let's start import numpy as np. Okay, and we have array np dot array, and let's pass it a single dimensional array of six elements. Now let's create a new array object and let's call np array split function and pass in the array object and pass in the three value. So it will divide the array into three parts. This means three parts. Now let's print out the new array object. Save the file, go to the console. Let's run the file. Python numpy array split py. You see we have three arrays on the console output. Array one, array two, and array three. So the array split function have divided the single dimensional array into three different arrays. Okay, if the array has less elements than required, it will adjust from the end accordingly. So let's split the array in four parts. So this time we are going to say four here, save the file, go to the console and run the file you see that the first two parts were divided by two values so we have one and two as a value in first array three and four in the second array but the third and fourth array we all only have single elements so the array split function adjusted it accordingly do note that we also have the method split available but it will not adjust the elements when elements are less in source array for splitting like in example above array split worked properly but split would fail okay let's look at split into arrays the return value of the array split method is an array containing each of the split as an array if you split an array into three arrays, you can access them from the result just like an array element. So let's look at the contents of the three elements of the array that we use for splitting. Run the file, okay. Now let's print the contents of first element of the new array, second one and the third one save the file you see we have the arrays at index 1 uh, 0 and 2 so that's how we can access the splitted arrays let me do one thing I'm going to copy this okay and and we have splitting single dimension array into three arrays. Comment this, okay. And then we have split array into three arrays and print contents of new array object ok 
aqui. Okay. We can use the same syntax when splitting 2D arrays. Use the array split method, pass in the array you want to split and the number of splits you want to do. So let's look at an example by splitting the 2D array into 3 2D arrays. So let's create an array of 6 elements with 6 arrays as each element. Comment this one and split 2D array into 3 2D arrays. Port numpy as np and then we have np.array and 1, 2. So we are going to have, sorry, this and 3, 4, then we have 5, 6, we have 7, 8, we have 9, 10, and then we have 11 and 12. Let's close the arrays and here, and now create a new array and np dot array split pass in the array and pass in the three print new array save the file go to the console you can see we have six uh, elements of array and each element as an array of the splitted array so we have three 2D arrays now. Okay. We can also split that 2D array into three 2D arrays as we did before. This time we can add an extra element to each array. So this is the same example as we did here, but this array contains more three elements each in the array. In addition, you can specify which axis you want to do the split around. The below code also returns three 2D arrays, but they are split along the row. Split the 2D arrays into three 2D array long rows. So let's see this in action. Okay, I'm going to create New code split ray into rays but using access okay. So import numpy as np and you can say array is equal to np dot array and we pass in it is a two dimensional array so one two three then we have Four, five, six, then we have seven, eight, nine, then we have eleven, twelve, and then we have thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then we have sixteen, sixteen. Okay. Say new array equals array uh, np dot array split and array and pass 3 and axis equals 1 print new array save the file go to the console and run the program you see we have got a different output this time because we have splitted the 2d array into 3 2d arrays along rows and it was done using this parameter access equals one an alternate solution is using eight split opposite of eight stack using the eight split method to split the 2d array into 3d three 2d arrays along rows so we can use eight split as well instead of what we used here to comment this uh, okay copy this comment 
this and can have we can use eight split and just pass in the array and this time we don't need to pass x as one a parameter because we are using a sep different function that is eight split you see we have got the same result as we did in the last example but this time we use eight split Similar alternates to vstack and bstack are available as vsplit and dsplit. I hope you learned something from this video training and if you liked this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time with a new topic in Python NumPy.